name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. What are we doing? 72. 72. Oh, steel braided lines. Braided lines. I get this a lot, and I see this an awful lot in forums. What are the reasons for the, their existence? Why do they exist? And do they... Can you nail fire? Do they work? <laughs> um, no, they don't. No, I'm only kidding. Uh, I'm just looking. I had... I've got two brand new ones in hell boxes. Any rot. <laughs> Fuck them, they're gone. Um, steel braided lines, why are they used and what's it all about? So let's talk about um, the normal rubber OEM lines that you have and the failures of them. The problem is, is that your brake system um, is a uh, hydraulic system, it's a pressure system. So basically you have a plunger here, like just think a syringe, and then you have a, another plunger here, just think a syringe, and then that's attached to some brake pads, with some little bits on it, like so. And what happens is, is that you have brake lines between them, and when you apply a pressure here, so you, uh, it's a force multiply, because what you've got is, if you were to do this by hand and push that plunger here, um, you'd have to apply the direct force that the brake pads have to receive. Um, and you'd have to apply a lot of fucking force. However, if we use um, a fulcrum and a pivot and a lever, and I have this attached to here, and then we have a lever, a brake lever, and apply a force here, um, then we can actually multiply. You know, we can use basically pivots um, as force multipliers and all the rest of it, just like pulleys and all that kind of shit. You would just use leverage, basically. It's like using a fucking pry bar on your brake lever. You know? Ugh. Right, so she just ran out of battery. We're all good, we've got another one. So yeah, you know, with your brake lever, you, um, I don't know where it stopped, but with a brake lever, you just, you know, you have leverage. You know, so there's the point where you need to push your plunger instead of pushing it there. Instead of pushing it there, you have a lever and you can fucking pull with your hand, uh, with your fingers, you know, so you can, basically it's a force multiplier. And this, you know, applies pressure to the fluid, the fluid really isn't compressible, um, so the force that you apply to the fluid at your end is what you get at the bottom end, which pushes your pads together. Don't be under any illusion that you can do your brakes with two fingers or one finger, that you could actually squeeze them pads hard enough to have enough camping force. No, you can't. So that's the great thing about it. The problem is, is that your brake lines are generally, uh, like the OEM ones, are rubber, but they're rubber and they're nylon, sometimes Kevlar reinforced, sometimes wire reinforced, steel wire reinforced. Uh, pipes, that's all they are, but they are rubber at the end of the day. The nylon in there is just a, it's a composite, it's to give them a bit more strength. Um, but over time, your, uh, the vulcanisation process with rubber generally never really stops and over time and UV light and the rain and the salt and the pressure that's on and off and the heat, the heat from the calipers is zipping right up your fucking, and, you know, the heat is, get my red, the heat is going to travel up here and it's going to radiate out so it's, it's not a very nice environment for this rubber and it doesn't last forever and what happens is is as you start to apply this torque up here, your uh, brake lever starts, to, your pipe starts to expand. Now, if you look at your manual, it generally tells you that your brake, um, your brake lines need replacing every four years or however God knows how many miles. Who the fucking hell does that? Not many people at all. I have an O4 uh, SV, and just sat there right now is the XJ. It was the XJ bill, uh, 19.99. That's got the OEM um, brake lines on it, and it's done 30,000 30, miles. It's been I've had them changed ages ago, but people don't because they just don't because they think these things keeps on working. But the thing is, you don't feel the fade away. That's what you don't feel. You just get used to over time that this is how shit your brakes are. Then when you replace them with new lines, you go, holy mother of God. Now, people do rant and rave saying steel braided lines are the absolute bollocks. 
buy some OEM ones, put them on and you'll go, OEM lines are the absolute bollocks. It's because the brake lines that you've got on your bike, and even clutch lines if you've got a hydraulic clutch, are shit. They've had it, they've shagged, they've expanded, and that's the problem. Is that just say, there's a brand new OEM and here's your, you know, your master cylinder. That is the volume of your system. And then just say, this is brand new OEM. So this is new. This is uh, the same one, but this is your older one. This is your 30,000 mile jobby, right? It's, it's like this internally. That's what it looks like internally. So when you apply a force to this, this is all filled with fluid, but the force it applies, and not only that is these walls are now weaker. They're now giving up the ghost. So they flex and expand a bit. And instead of applying that to your brakes, that movement is taken up in the, you know, the elastic nature of your rubber, which is fucking useless. So your brakes feel spongy and shite. Go and get a new OEM line, stick that on, and then you feel that. Now the difference between an OEM line and um, the braided lines is braided lines usually are a lot thinner. They're actually slimmer, so you don't need as much oil, because all you want to do is transfer the force you don't care about how much fluid that is, apart from the cavities in your caliper, but that's why you have a reservoir, and we'll talk about reservoirs and master cylinders and not flipping seals and all that kind of shit later uh, in another video. But um, all they do is, instead of just using thick gauge rubber with nylon reinforcement, is they use a thin layer of rubber like that, and then they basically just wrap it in steel braiding. Basically what that does is that hopefully increases the life of your brakes, because as that rubber starts to expand, that steel is holding it, and then they usually put a jacket of, you know, some kind of plastic over the, you know, an outside jacket of, I don't know what kind of plastic, like I say, I'm not a plastic guy, go to AVE, ask him. <laughs> but they'll put some kind of, you know, they put some kind of plastic coating to stop the steel, even if it's stainless steel, to stop it, you know, contamination, rusting, coming off, you know, stripping, threading, whatever, you don't want, you don't want little needles of stainless, Steel or steel going all over the road, do you? Fuck wit. Um, but that's what <laughs> braided lines are for, is they have, basically it's about wall integrity of this hydraulic system. Um, when you see real, you see flex lines for hydraulic applications, high pressure hydraulic applications, they're always braided and stuff like that. Uh, is it the fact that the braided lines are super duper duper? No, generally not. The smaller volume does make your brakes a little more sharp and you've got to be, because there's less volume, so your master cylinder and everything are pretty much the same, but um, to, com to put load to compress the oil, because oils are compressible. Everything is compressible. Look at a black hole. <laughs> right? Oils, liquids are compressible. It's just that they are, compared to gases, fucking no, they're not. You know what I mean? In retrospect, in... Um, not retrospect, fucking hell. Um, oh! Relative. Air relative to liquids. Um, no, they're not. <laughs> liquids are not compressible, but they are te you know, physically and technically. But um, just a whole lot less. This is why if you get uh, air in your system, you pile that pressure and you just squish air. <laughs> Which means you're squishing air, you're not squishing pad. You know what I mean? Um, hope that makes sense. Like I say, OEM ones, if you fit the OEM ones, you know, you didn't want to go down the braided line, you didn't want to go down the aftermarket line, you trust the ones you've got or whatever. Um, yeah, go for it. You know, OEM ones will give you that, holy shit, these feel like new brakes again. And this is the stupid thing. There are loads of people. And that's a random video. I'll see you in a bit.